is there a possibility that there's going to be a Crocodile Basket time skip? Is it actually ending? So there was news flashed out on Crunchyroll that the Crocodile Basket manga has been rumored to end. It's like I've literally been caught up to like you know the latest um, stuff and material, and I've been really enjoying Crocodile Basket, and they just then it's uh, one of the most hugest matches that they've had throughout the series. But it was like leaked on the next issue of Shonen Jump that you know they're all going to be on the Senate cover, and then it was sort of rumored that it's pretty much going to end. Which I don't want that. Like one thing as well that is that this is a huge mistake for Shonen Jump since Croco is just such a huge thing right now. It's like everyone wants more. The anime is getting a third season. Like people just love the hell out of the series. Like hell, since the second season, which I really loved. I had to see the next part of the manga, and I pretty much caught up to it at this point now, and I've just loved it. Like, it's been a real crazy fun ride seeing Kuroko, and to see that it potentially ending, it, it, what they should do, I mean, let's be honest, like, we don't like series like that being milky, but when Kuroko's on its highest point right now, and it's like, it's probably like the best selling um, next to One Piece, like that, it's probably one of the best selling sports manga out there. Like, then why? Like, they should honestly just do, like, a time skip or something. Although, there was room that it could be a time skip. Who knows? Like, maybe they start going to the NBA. Maybe it starts, you know, following, like, Kuroko's son or Kagami's son. Like, something like that. Like, that would make a lot of sense if it's, like, a two-year time skip, three years. Like, you know, they go in the NBA, you know, all of them meet up. But, like, it would be awesome if the la last chapter say, like, Oh, you guys are gonna get better at high school. Like, and like Tepe just says, "I'll see you in the NBA." That that is a perfect way to do this right now. Like, I feel that would be the perfect way to do it. I like if it's ending, then I mean, if it's just the right shortlist, then I'm kind of fine with it. But I think what Shonen Jump really needs right now is definitely some of these ongoing series. Like, you got Naruto ending this year. You got Kuroko ending this year. Bleach is in a mystery where it's ending right now. Like, you're losing some of your big hitters right now. So it's like, what are you doing? Like, the other mag magazines are just going to curd something. You got, shows out, you got like Magi, you got Fairy Tale, they're bringing in the numbers. You got Kenichi, you've got Taizai, you've got like Tokyo Ghoul and stuff like that that are all coming. Like, Terror for Mars. Young Jump right now is just curd stomping the rest. With these big hitters, and it's very just that. Like I said, this, if this ending like that, and it's like I'll be ah, like uh, I'll be I, I'm satisfied with where it ended, but I'll be like, man, they, like Shonen Jump just did a stupid decision, or, or and I'll be like, man, I wonder what it'd be like if they ever reached the NBA, like how crazy it could get like that. But oh, well, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Like, are you sad um, that Croco's uh, ending? If this is ending, is this like the final chapter? I'll probably talk about the final chapter and tell you how I feel about the series because I really want to get out there like how I feel about the Croco manga because I did an impression sort of it recently. I'll leave like a conversation down below, like down there somewhere. But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching this 